It is my pleasure to be with you as we once again meet to assess our progress in advancing the Commission's broadband agenda. In particular, we will pay special attention at this meeting to the perspective of the industry and the private sector on how to promote investment to expand access to broadband. We will also look at new opportunities and obstacles faced by our sectors and how we can find collective solutions to address these challenges. All reports point in the same direction. We need accelerators and cross-cutting multipliers to achieve progress across all the Millennium Development Goals. Broadband and broadband enabler applications are an accelerator and a multiplier whose global rollout carries vast potential for inclusive and sustainable growth. Distinguished Commissioners, as many of you will know, we are just back from the BYND 2015 Global Youth Summit, which was held in Costa Rica and was a completely amazing event. The youth declaration resulting from the summit is a powerful statement from young people, and it is being taken by President Laura Chinchilla, President of Republic of Costa Rica, to the General Assembly this week. The Broadband Commission should be proud of its role in making the Global Youth Summit happen. The summit was inspired by the Broadband Commission Working Group on Youth and Broadband. A wise man once said, our major obligation is not to mistake slogans for solutions, end of quote. And to arrive at the real solutions, we need to have conversations Thanks to broadband access and modern ICTs, young people today who otherwise would be voiceless will have a chance to make their voice here. It's our time for all of us to join forces to invest in this young generation of young people. In my role as Special Envoy, I've traveled extensively around the globe to raise the profile of this issue and reinforce the need to encourage girls and women to participate and pursue careers in ICTs. And what I've learned is that the greatest job growth will be in the area of engineering. There's an enormous global shortage of engineering and big data talent to meet industry needs now and in the future. And attracting more women uh, is critical to solving this problem. Today, we know 7 billion people or 7 billion mobile subscriptions in the world. The projections that we have in the Ericsson Mobility Report to 2018 is that 92% of the Earth population will have mobile coverage by 2018, and roughly 6.5 billion mobile broadband subscriptions by 2018. That means that almost three times as many people on this Earth will have access to internet in 2018. And of course, it is built on standards that we all are using regardless of countries. If it's on handsets or infrastructure, we use the same. And that has been a success. However, as it's been mentioned before, the access is not really what's going to transform. It's what we put into the access. That's what is transformative. Thank you.